What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to tell you what my thoughts are on the Pergear Laser. So I've ran it now for quite a while and actually we had fun the other day I was doing a bunch of other stuff with the kids but uh, so I'm gonna walk through and give you the pros and cons what I think they could change and so forth and go from there if you're new to the channel welcome my name's Matt I do laser engraving full-time out of my basement my wife and I both we do not have any other jobs besides this well she does occasionally go and help the school once in a while but that's only if they def definitely need it but we do this full time out of our basement. We run Epilogue Lasers and we have another channel. It's called Matt and Sarah. If you want to check us out there, go ahead and go over there. We don't do any kind of laser stuff over there. That's just our day to day and the way we live. So, all right, on to the review. So, as far as the laser, I think it's a quality build. It looks nice. It's I like the, the screen, the belts how they have it where you can just pull it tight and it's all there and how they adjust it the adjustments of the belts and everything i thought was great and really nice and well thought through um one of the cons i think that the use small usb is a con i don't know why they wouldn't have a flash drive but i ended up using the usb cord uh with the lightning stick or lightning whatever whatever you know what I mean so I used the cord they sent with and we used that and it that worked fine it's just a really short cord the other con would be setting it up it took a quite a long time to get it figured out and set up and it wouldn't connect to light burn I got it connected but it wouldn't connect and it took a long time and it, it wasn't um, they weren't pairing up so what ended up what I did is deleted everything off the computer that was per gear re-downloaded it and it still didn't work so i deleted it again re-downloaded it again the second time and i went on lightburn and I, just to see if it would work and it pulled up and it, it found it so uh the the second time when i uh downloaded everything i did have the cable hooked up before i started downloading it so i don't know if maybe that was the help before that i would download everything in there and then i'd hook up the laser to find it on lightburn and so i just hook up the cable i'd recommend hooking this up right away and it should pull up it did for me so um one of the positives is it's it's reasonable it's i mean it's a cheap laser to get into there wasn't this option when i got into it i didn't have this it was more expensive stuff so times have definitely changed i do like um these kind of laser heads the, I think the future is going to go towards that because of the less moving parts. Uh, they like right now in the the diode lasers right now in the metal parts of like cutting and everything manufacturing is insane. So I definitely think that these lasers are going to be the upcoming lasers in the future. The technology isn't there right now for I would say the smaller ones. I mean they're fine. It does its job but I think it can do better, especially with the speeds, and the speeds can get there. Oh, one of the pros is it's small and compact, and you can like fit it anywhere on a shelf. I, I fit it in my big laser. So, and then one of the cons I didn't like was there's no chute or anything, So, but that comes with the price point. So you guys would have to make a chute, so go and get some plywood, and make a chute around it with a door and then have a um, exhaust fan coming from the back to suck out the exhaust to go out the window or wherever you're going to go with it but that would be the only thing that would be a bummer about is is that you don't have a enclosure for it so get that and air assist so i was going to make a video on this but it's been wild at our house my kids have been having friends over they were on spring break when i did it but what I did is I made up a, a mock air assist, air assist, and it worked a lot better, especially with the cutting. It was cleaner engraving. So if they had an air, uh, air assist for that, it would be sweet. Other than that, 
You know, the laser is a darn good laser. If I was starting out, I would start with one of these. Now the problem I would have is, by far, is the price points. How would you price your work? Because you can't go $60 an hour with this. I mean, it's, it's just way too slow. So, <clears throat> I think you'd have to come up with a different pricing strategy and I really haven't sat down to figure that out. But, you, cause you couldn't charge. Cause what I could do on this laser compared to my big laser, it's, yeah, it's a huge difference. So, pricing would be difficult with these. Um, but if you figure out the pricing and you get going with this, you could pay for it. It should pay for itself right away. But also, and let's say you don't. Let's say you're so tight with money, and you literally can't. You can only afford buying this laser, and you can't buy the wood for the enclosure and everything else. Go outside. Run it outside. You don't need to be indoors for it. Run it outside. Have your door, your garage doors wide open. Run it in your garage if it's raining or snowing, whatever. Run it outside. You don't have to run in the house. Save up money, build the business, build your platform, and then buy the stuff you need. And then also, once you get going with this, you can easily get more than one, and you can have multiple ones running. The other thing is quarter inch. This thing does not like quarter inch, but you know, you can use eighth inch. There's other woods out there, so don't worry about it. I'm, I just use quarter inch all the time on everything. It's just... I buy it in bulk, it's what I do. It also does come with a couple different sample wood pieces for you that are pretty thin and eighth inch. And it's got a bunch of different tools, cleaning tools and such. So, and you know, I really haven't had to clean the lens, but I haven't ran it. It probably only ran, I would say it's just a hair over three hours because that one was 45 minute run that I did. I'd say somewhere about over three hours of running so far. So that's the other thing. I don't know the longevity of how long these will leave and last, but I do know we'll keep messing with it for a little while. If you got it, best of luck to you. You can definitely make some money with it. I'm not saying you can't. The only thing is, I, like I said, is the price point. I don't know how you would do that yet. I really haven't sat down to figure that out. But it's a it's an all around it's a good laser so far i mean I'd, I'd like to know how long it's gonna last but i unfortunately i don't think that'll happen with me because i don't plan on it sticking around plus i have nowhere to put it so and we've been talking about that too and i've i've been considering giving up my woodworking shop and take in the garage and putting all this up there and making more of a area for this but i can't see doing that because this is what makes me money in that wood shop. So I, sorry guys, just not there yet. I can't make it, but one day maybe I'll have a shed and then I'll uh, set up something really cool. Cause I'd like to do is have a bunch of those, I have it in the other room. I'd like a bunch of those lasers and show you and do demonstrations and how you can start and how to build them up and what you could do. And I got this stuff in my head, but yeah, budget. I got to budget myself. I can't just spend all this money. <laughs> well, I hope you guys liked the video and glad to get to see me again. <laughs> Bye.